Jessica, Anne. Hey, congratulations for this new season of the Orville New Horizons. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I am doing great. I am doing great. I mean, it's a, this is one of those shows that a lot of people have been waiting for quite some time. Listen, um, we have to. <laughs> We're right there with you. <laughs> But uh, but but tell tell us about uh, you know um, both of you being on the show. I know Anne, this is, this is entirely new for you, and Jessica. Technically, you know you you were like kind of like a half season, so it's almost it's almost new, but yeah. yet it's not. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, she came on and jumped right in and felt like she was there since I was there at least, and what she does with her character and all of that felt didn't seem new at all other than a fresh face and like what what she does with it but she came on and made it just effortless and flawless and that's always fun to play off of and and um have like a new cast member come on so if I'm speaking for you I'm just like singing her praises because I just recently watched some of the episodes for the first time and she's just phenomenal in them um so for me being yeah. a cast member and her coming on that that was my experience for her I'll let her answer now <laughs> I mean, yeah, coming on to a new show with two seasons like already done is always a little bit intimidating, but I will say like coming on the show, every, every one of the cast was super welcoming and super great, easy to work with. And I did, you know, take on a big character. I kind of came in like very like, like headstrong because I knew, and I'm really excited for everyone to see my character. Um, but I do have like a big, I had a big plate in front of me. So I kind of went in very like, I'm going to conquer this and, you know. That means a lot that I that I had that in you know perception too. Yeah, so. great. <laughs> so so let, let me start with you, Jessica. I'm trying to get into the uh, you know to that tally character that you played you know over three 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 years ago. Is it like riding a bike uh, to uh, to get into that character again? Um, well, the the cool thing or interesting thing with Tala is the amount of time I spend in hair and makeup. So when I get there and I'm laying back and they're putting on the forehead and the eyebrows and the lashes and the wig, the, you do start shifting into, into her more, obviously not just physically, but even in, in, in general, I walk out and I feel like I'm an alien. <laughs> um, and you look and, like one too. They do a great <laughs> job on hair and makeup. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they did such a wonderful job. So having that part of my day in the morning really helps that whole thing. Um, but she definitely has this like crisp voice um, and a very military, Seth would always say the way she speaks and stuff. So um, I definitely went back and watched more episodes before I went back to kind of get that like tone and things in my mind. Um, and then having John and Seth there who know the character inside and out and who I trust to help me always make sure that I'm bringing the right beats and the right flavor of Tala to, to the table and, and to this show. Um, I love that I have them to, to always be there and, and, and help make sure that um, I'm doing it the best I can with the best team around me. So, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And for for people who don't know, you are an entirely new character. But uh, but as a navigator, I do have to admit, you got skills. So uh, so so how did they teach you how to uh, use that console in front of you, or did you or are you just randomly pushing uh, things on on <laughs> on that? Display? Um you know, I actually have a video of Seth teaching me my first day of set how to do that. Um, I can't wait to post that. Uh, it, it took like five minutes. I mean, we're, we're an actor. So I just had to basically, yeah, what you're doing is pressing things that aren't really buttons and acting like you're pressing things, but you're acting. And, you know, if you're good at it, you make it look like it was effortless. But it took, my, I don't know, five minutes. You're just... As long as you have the intent of like you are pressing a button to like do something smart out there that's gonna, you know, make a difference, I think that that's that's what matters. It was easy, okay. honestly. This 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 part was easy, the typing on the board. I mean, it just became like second nature. I, I guess techni technically we can't crash in space, can we? Or technically we can't. I mean, you could get <laughs> blown up. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we went through some trauma on this. I, we did. <laughs> I the blow. I mean the the special effects and everything were so cool too. I mean it was we had a we had a lot of 
uh, what's it called? Battle, battle stuff happening, battle scenes happening. And one of my favorite things too is we would all have to lean the same way. So it three, would be two, like a, one, three, hit. Two, one. And then you all have to like lean the same way or like go down the same way. And it's crazy how ridiculous you feel doing it, but seeing it on the monitor or seeing it come together, it looks like you really like yeah. all, all got hit. And it's that crazy. would be some days where we would just be do, we would do the hits and then in the scene and it's, you know, on this hit, it's forward, it's a little one, and then it's a shake and then it's to the right. I mean, it's very yeah. technical and very choreographed. Yeah. Um, and we did have like the lights and obviously the sounds, which is really nice. Cause as you, you, you both probably know in scenes where you hear, you know, some of the crashes and stuff, you don't actually hear them. We, they did right. have like lights and stuff for us. Or when you hear music and, you know, in a scene yeah. and, and all nice. that talking and the music is makes more sense and it's more natural and it happens yeah but it yeah. was that was very <laughs> choreographed and detailed and it when so you see it like having to freeze I remember there was one day on set that I literally didn't do anything but stay f like f like a, f a freeze frame. and I was like wow I never thought that being an act like I would just do this all day you know what I mean it's like crazy what this job throws at you but it was fun. And I think it really came together. And once seeing it all together, it was, it's beautiful, really incredible. <laughs> and, and Anne, could, could you uh, give, you know, kind of preview? I've, I've seen some of the few episodes, but I want to hear, hear it from you. Give us a little bit of preview of this uh, Charlie character, because she's not, uh, you know, she's not a naive, you know, like ensign or some, somebody. She's actually a very experienced person taking, yeah. taking over the orbital. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's the only survivor from one of the other ships that um, when the Kalon goes to battle, where you leave off on season two, she's one of the only survivors. So she has a very big chip on her shoulder towards the Kalon. So I guess her and Isaac have a very big story um, that I'm excited for everyone to see. And yeah, she's not afraid to speak her mind and kind of, you know, get there and not just go with the flow. She's very adamant about what she believes and what she wants. So I'm excited, yeah. <laughs> how, how does this uh, new bridge um, look on, on the set when uh, both of you uh, step in? I mean, every single set is so <laughs> beautiful or amazing. Sometimes we'd be like walking on a set and I'm like, we're doing this one scene here that they you know, yeah. took weeks to build. And then we're, you know, we're there for days or weeks to film it, but it ends up being like two minutes in the show. Um, but the new bridge, I mean, it's amazing. It's, it, you feel, you really feel like you're on a spaceship. It's, it's, it's incredible. incredible. And it's, I've, and I mean, look out and it's a green on. screen and there's no stars or there's no, <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh, I, I never been on a set this big in my life. I mean, it was like three different sound stages mm -hmm. and a two story. So I thought that that was really cool too. Cause there's a lot of shots that they wanted to do where you could walk down the hallway and then go down the stairs and keep walking. And it really is like an entire two story, fully big spaceship in real life. It's, it was incredible to see. Never seen that before in my experience. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I've only been on a sci-fi set once and, um, I don't think anything works. Is it, was there anything that's actually practical that worked on that set? I mean, that worked. Like like remotes and stuff. I mean, I don't How, know. Any, anything. It, Switches or buttons or... The, everything the, the, would light the, up, but when you would have to do like coverage of like, you know, something Tala would be reading or there would be actual things on there, but I feel like that would always be like a team that has to put that on for that scene at that moment. Mm -hmm. Um like when, when we're hitting the every all the buttons and stuff, they're they're all lit up, but it's not like when I hit that one that specifically did unless we were filming for that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 I mean but if it like opened a door. Like all the pyro stuff, like all the sparks and everything, that wasn't CGI. Those really worked, believe me. Yeah. That was like scary. Yeah. All we had to put here, all the stuff going on around. That was that was real. We had to have earplugs in. I mean, like it was like yeah, it was a real deal. I, I loved it. I was like, this is fun. It feels like you're really in battle. Yeah, it was awesome. That is awesome. In a safe way, you know, yeah. like, okay, we're going to make it out of this one. We're actually going to make it out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the day ends at this time. I will be. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs>
Now, when when season one premiered year, years years ago, you know, because Seth's what's uh, name was attached, a lot of people think this was sort of like like a parody sci-fi show with a lot of comedy and such. But ever since season one, this show has taken a lot of, you know, serious issues, uh, serious tones as, you know, Anne's first episode will actually is, is a huge testament to that. Do you guys like this direction? Sort of like a much more of a dramatic sci-fi with a little bit of a comedy mixing? I yeah. love it. Yeah. That was one reason, or the, I, when, when I first booked this show, I like, I watched the first two seasons and I was really shocked because what I was reading and my first audition and um, just seeing the show like on a script, I was like, oh, okay, it's this kind of tone. And then when I went back and watched season one and two, it completely like did a 180. And I love the direction. And I think that's, that's something really cool. It's like our show still has that comedy though. It's not losing the funny moments, but I love the take that it went with being a little bit more serious. Not only with um, not only with the the tone and everything, but also it just looks more serious. Like the the amount of work that they put into this show this season looks like in like a avatar movie every single episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and just the storylines and what we touch on and what each actor brings to their to the table is just it's magnificent. It's beautiful. Um, I mean, I know everyone was able to watch 301 and 303. I mean, we you open up the season and it's about suicide, which is a pretty heavy topic, something that should be talked about. And and, you know, we touch on it. And but yet you still have, you know, all the flavor and layers of the brilliant Seth MacFarlane. What, what he's done with this show. And then you go to episode 303 and there's, you know, the bullying and that. So it's, it's I think so, he's just a genius with, with how he was able to navigate to do a sci-fi show and touch on these current issues, but make it in space and have the language that we get to play with and be on a spaceship. It's like, if you ever told me when I was a kid that like, <laughs> I'd be playing an alien and I have superpowers because of the gravity of my planet with Seth MacFarlane and this amazing cast. I'd have, I'd have been like, yeah, I don't believe that. You know, I get to go to work and play in a spaceship every day and, and touch on major topics that, you know, people should talk about. So all in all, I think it's just done beautifully and I'm very, very honored and blessed to be a part of it. And I'm really excited for everyone to take this journey with us this season. Yeah. Most excellent. Well, Anne, Jessica, we really appreciate you uh, speaking to us about uh, the third season of The Orville, and uh, and it's what I've seen so far. It's it's very good. It's very exciting. Thank good. you. That means a lot. Thank you so much.